If you've been gone all summer break, you may have noticed something new standing across from DKR Stadium. In 2011, a group of students from the College of Natural Sciences proposed the idea to create hands-on solar applications on campus. Megan Archer, an environmental and biological sciences senior, was one of those students. We see it, but maybe we can't use it, and we don't really know how it works. So the whole point of these solar stations was kind of to get people thinking about other ways to use it. There are currently two stations on campus, one in front of the art building across from the stadium and the other in front of the PCL. Conveniently located here on campus, these completely solar powered energy stations provide quick and easy power for students and teachers on the go. Once the proposals were made, the science undergraduate research group Surge teamed up with the university's Green Fee Committee and the company Soul Design Lab to build these $60,000 structures. Through their solar paneled roofs, they can power up to 18 cell phones and other electronics at any time of day. It's, it's a dual purpose. It's the application of the technology, the solar technology, but it's also a how do we use this space and how could we make this space more useful um, and interesting to us. It really feels amazing to see our work completed. I know several of our members were instrumental, very instrumental in actually building the kiosks and just when I see someone using it, it makes me feel really good inside just because I know we're promoting solar energy. Surge says they are working toward installing touchscreens as well as a third charging station in Central Campus. And in an age where everyone seems to rely so much on their technology, it appears these stations couldn't have come at a better time. We're phone people now, so we do need this. Leslie Adamy, KVR News.